kidding me? That was a full oh spot away for Tim and Tabman right there. It's roughly 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Tim the Tapman Batar is whispering to you through a mounted microphone on the other end of the computer screen. <clears throat> Morning, evening, afternoon, bud. Hey, hope you're having a good one, dude. Hope you're having a good one, bud. Better wake up, dude. He's categorized himself under the just chatting section on Twitch. You saw my nipple? We're just chatting, okay? I'm sorry. Tim's flanked by his plush sidekick, Kevin the Penguin, and his voice is soft and conversational, like the way your coworkers talk to you by the coffee machine in the morning. None of my friends play Overwatch, so I had to pay five bucks to tell someone, hey, you just wasted your money, lol in chat. As Tim finishes his last full cam conversation, you can hear the menu screen music from Fortnite blend in seamlessly. I'm not going tomato skin today. I need to change it up my life. Tim's first game of the day sets the tone. And that usually means a series of unfortunate bouts with fall damage and a light peppering of flame from his chat. This randomly came to mind, but when I turned on your stream, I instantly started chanting, Tim, Tim, he's our man. If he can take fall damage, no one can. But Tim rounds into form after a few games, usually. Not them. Can I get an epic shotgun? He knows his way around a green shotgun after he gets into the swing of things. Where's the last guy? He's still up there. He's still up right now. He's got slow. He's got slow. Yeah! Nice, Tim. Just in time for his chat to pipe up and let him know that his day to day companions in the fight for Fortnite glory are online. Almost every day, you can count on some combination of these three streamers to squad up in Fortnite together. This Where is we're my going spot. Right now. Why can't I crawl here? Too thick, Tim. <laughs> you gotta Wait. scoot all the way back, dude. Really? I can't even no, get you're, over there. You're, Tim is literally too big <laughs> to get him in the stairs, dude. Oh my God, it's too perfect. This is stupid. They've all got their own team drama archetypes. Ninja, the cool guy with the biggest gun, always swooping in for a 2K that saves the day. Oh, let's go! Lupo, the supportive yet sometimes toxic friend who stays calm, cool, and collected at all times. Oh my god, no, let's go! And then there's Tim. Maybe not as fast, skilled, or charming as the coolest kids at school, but with a heart of gold. He's shooting through the ground! What am I looking at? What? Boys, I'm gonna die! You can't kill him, he's in the ground! Together, they form a super team of sorts. Hey, Tim, I hit it in a two on one situation! A streaming partnership that has led to astronomical growth for all three of them. Oh my God. Oh, yeah! This growth is something that almost never gets brought up on stream. Most of the air is filled with in-game comms and Ninja taking the odd fat joke jab at Tim. This guy goes, I think everyone should stop directing fat jokes at Tim. He's got enough on his plate. Ah! No! But if you take a close look, Tim has risen to be one of the most prolific streamers Twitch has to offer. Oh my god. <laughs> Tim gets Yo, a kill. Kill, Tim. Sub kill! Sub to Tim! Sub to the YouTube! Watch this shot. Oh. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually hit him, bro! I was late! Wait! <laughs> oh my god. This is his story. Tim! I had my one tattoo, my professor was doing roll, I said, Tim, I raised my hand. He was like, Tim the Tap Man. That's how I got my name. Tim the Tap Man began his streaming career in late 2013 and focused primarily on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, that's what this channel used to be. From the beginning, Tim was always an entertainer first. Although back then, he was even more wild than he is today. Headshot! Steal my hammer! From day one, it was very clear that Tim had a brand, and we don't mean the tattoos. Tim's life lessons, for real, dude. Use your head, don't be an idiot. This is what I tell all my kids that I work with. You, you're, the things you do have great impacts on you. Tim's goal was to create the kind of atmosphere where everyone who clicked into his stream felt welcome. Another reason that I stream is because I love people. I, my job, as you guys know, I work with at-risk kids, and. 
I've always been in interaction with people throughout my whole life and just learning to appreciate relationships a lot. There was no gamer who was too new or uninitiated to hang out in his channel. <laughs> Yo! Oh my God! Yes! <laughs> We're the love of God and all that is holy. holy. What's up, brother? Shit. The range of conversations has no bounds. What do you call a blonde between two brunettes? A mental block. <laughs> <laughs> Some streamers rise to prominence on the back of their skill or popularity as a pro. Okay, well, okay, we're on a good lead, got the weapons, boom! Oh! Watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm Others do it by putting on a show. Loss, 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 loss. Then there's Tim. He isn't outlandish or toxic, and he doesn't wear a wig or put on a persona. He's just in it for a good time, and he's not concerned about making a few mistakes along the way. That's all part of the show. And boy, does he own it. I am the worst Call of Duty player in the history of this fucking game. I, I just want to win just one gunfight, Lord Jesus. Just one. Tim the Tapman stream grew pretty steadily early on. He didn't make any big splashes or blow up overnight, but as early as August 2015, Tim was streaming to more than 6,000 viewers at a time. Those numbers continued for much of 2015 and 2016, as he built his community and developed his YouTube page. But I'm a streamer, and my chat wants to say hi. How I shut this? Look at this is my chat. Even early on, Tim wasn't shy about allowing the community he built to take a peek behind the curtain at their protagonist's life. So I'm going to show you guys what everything is behind the scenes with the Patman Army. My actual computer and what actually streams everything. Um, up here we have the webcam. <laughs> His fans learned about his love for Jeeps, the origins of his tattoos. So the second tattoo is the bear, lion, eagle, the legal. And which sports teams he rooted for. Wearing my Blackhawks hat, obviously, Blackhawks play today. Gotta represent, you know what I'm saying? During his early days as a streamer, Tim primarily played Call of Duty. It was his bread and butter and served as a nice backdrop for the community he had built. Nice, you saw the other one. Oh, nice, Tim with that eight. ace. Ace! But on May 26, 2016, Blizzard released their modernized version of the class-based shooter, Overwatch. An elite international task force charged with ending the war and restoring liberty to all nations. Overwatch. The hype surrounding the game was through the roof, and Tim jumped on board. I'm doing it. I missed. I can't do it. This is fine, dude. I'm backdooring, bro. The back, the back door, Reinhardt! This transition between games was a big deal for Tim's popularity. Unlike many of the top streamers, it's not always the gameplay that attracts viewers to his channel. In an escape from the norm, his audience is not tied to any one specific game. Aha! Come get me now, zombies! All right, let's build more. By the time 2017 rolled around and he was streaming Overwatch full time, Tim was streaming to an average of more than 14,000 viewers. Okay. <laughs> see that charge? Do you see that little thing? He was quickly becoming one of the faces of the game, and while all the game's best players were focused on competitive play, he was one of Overwatch's most popular streamers. I'm killing everyone? Hog, hog, hog. He's healing. Hog's left. On a one. Hog, hog. Hog, dead. Good job. Sim, dead. During his time playing Overwatch, Tim often played with other big names in the community, like XQC and Seagull. Nice play of the game. Since then, he's always prioritized streaming in groups. And although a lot of streamers often team up with friends while online, it always feels a little more pronounced on Tim's stream. These teams are not... I think these are okay. I mean, okay. I mean it, 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 it depends on what I play. Get mad, then. I can play, I can play hit scan. I'm gonna... Listen, excuse me, we want to win, not lose. 
<laughs> I watched like you. I watched you play Tracer the other day on your stream. It was like I was watching someone on ice skates. One of the most unique parts of his relationship with Overwatch was the relationship between his skill level and his love for the game. That's way too fun, dude. He reached the highest ranking milestone possible in Overwatch, Grandmaster. I mean, that's about where I was, I guess. I placed higher than Siegel. And he was doing it with skill intensive characters like Genji and McCree. Best high noon of my life. Best high noon of my life! Holy frick! But as he got better, his love for the game dissolved. My Twitter right now is blowing up because I made a tweet about Overwatch and why I'm not playing it anymore. Tim! Uh, yeah. So. The combination of the sometimes toxic nature of high-level team games and the stagnancy that was the Overwatch dive meta drove Tim the Tapman to explore other options for his stream. Are you kidding me? What are I always get charged, always! I always get pinned! And just as Tim was exploring, looking for a new game to share the spotlight with, Fortnite was quickly becoming the biggest game on the planet. There's Tim the Tap Man. There he is, Today. there's Tim. They were a match made in heaven. Fortnite this morning? Of course, what else is there to effing stream? <laughs> yes, Tim. Nice, fuck the... Yes, Tim! <laughs> Skin. Fortnite became the biggest game on the planet almost overnight, and along with its rise, the Twitch ecosystem vaulted some of its most beloved streamers up the charts with it. When the boom first hit, it was Ninja who became the undisputed king of Fortnite on Twitch. Woo! Let's go, I tagged him for Ninja, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go. But every hero has their sidekicks, and Tim the Tatman was that for Ninja. Shoot it yep. in three, two, one, now. Woo! That's what you call a double line of double side. Scorpion Armadillo, mission completed, over and out. The Fortnite frenzy has been unique for building personalities on Twitch. The game is so fun, social, and evocative that it's allowed its biggest advocates on Twitch to really build their personality around the game. Sex <laughs> Peter. <laughs> oh my god. No! <laughs> Early on, sure, Tim was one of those guys that would squat up with Ninja on stream. But ever since then, his stream has grown outward. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! In the chat, Hashtag the Tatman Army! Hashtag wow, Tatman Army! We did it! Between April and May 2018, Tim's average viewership sprung from over 15k to more than 21k at a time. He began streaming outside of his core group of squad partners and joined the likes of Nick Merckx and Cloaksy on stream here and there. What's up, Dad? What's up, dude? For, uh, it take you a second, you alright? Yeah, it's telling me I gotta push to, to, I have to push to talk? You shouldn't have to. Yeah, it's Tim. Yeah, 17! And my buddy had four, 21 to three, so 20 kill game, Gingy. Since then, he's managed to keep this over 20,000 viewer average and spiked in July with more than 28,000 viewers at a time. Tim also managed to make one of the scariest jumps out of the Fortnite era. After all, trying to maintain your viewership while playing other games is no easy task. Watch this, chat. You want to see why you sub to this channel? Right here. Wait. Tim's dabbled in Call of Duty Blackout, has streamed his Overwatch placements, and even maintained solid numbers during the just chatting portion of his stream. You saw my nipple? We're just chatting, okay? I'm sorry. Please. You saw my nipple too? This is the end. We had a good run, chat. We're not just chatting anymore, dude. Oh, God.
More recently, he's even broken the mold for a Twitch streamer. He's become the face of the National Football League on Twitch. Tim's done multiple sponsored streams for the NFL during their Thursday night football Twitch broadcasts. Fortnite dance. No? All right, no celebration. During those games, Tim was able to meet and surpass his average Twitch viewership, doing something completely unprecedented for someone who plays video games for a living. Let's go! Woo! Over the course of his transition to Fortnite, Tim the Tapman has made huge strides. When something is as all-encompassing as this game, there's always going to be risk in branching outward. But Tim has flourished. Tim, get him. Where's Tim, the last guy? He's still up there. He's still up right now. He's got slow. He's got slow. Yeah! Nice, Tim. He secured an identity that transcends the games he plays, and sometimes even transcends games at all. This may be his single greatest strength. You can hold Kevin hostage for now. He needs subs. In fact, spike that fat bird for not giving us the subs. Hey, once again, chat. I'm just listening to Bez here, all right, dude? Yeah! That's what you get, Kevin. You're not meeting quota. He's not as popular as Twitch royalty like Ninja or Shroud. Take the games away from Tim, and there's something left standing. Even if it is some self-deprecating jokes. It's 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and Tim the Tapman just took fall damage again. Kevin is sitting in the glowing green monster fridge behind him because someone donated $15 to ruin his day. That's my cat. Everyone say hello to my cat, Kevin. Tim just cracked a Miller Lite. All right, Tim, first of all, for the stream, for the stream, for my chat and for your chat, do you want to drink that, that Miller Lite? Is that, are you putting yourself in harm's way? It's not, no, it's not harm's way. I had, I had right. the IPA and a, and a Miller, I'll be fine. In game, he's wearing his signature tomato head skin, a style he claimed as his own after the addition of the Tomato Temple to Fortnite Island, where you now go to worship Tim. Tell us, Chica, the, the I can't believe you got your own temple on Fortnite. Congrats, oh, keep up the work. Hey, better. thanks, Chica. Hey, keep up the streams, by the way, dude. Thank you for your 10, homie. Bless, bless, bless the tomato lords. He's leaving for TwitchCon in the morning, where he's committed to trying to meet absolutely every single person who wants to meet him. Throw that guy out. The little man over there? A little small shit. 90% of the women around you are taller than you! A tall order for someone with 45,000 subscribers. But that's who he is. And at TwitchCon, that personality we've grown to love will be put on display for thousands at the roast of Tim the Tatman. Tim, you look like a troll doll pencil topper that was stung by a bee. <laughs> look at this. You, you look like the rejected member of a lesbian biker gang. <laughs> The streamer that's bigger than any game he chooses to play. Okay, Chad, you gotta, can't say we lost fucking, this, okay? You gotta give us bibble thumps with the fucking wings on them. Let okay, him I win. See nothing else. Okay, I'm okay. cool with it. Okay, my chat agrees too. Okay. Hi, bud. Come here. Come here. Ah. Look at now. Fuck it, now he's feel. gonna go tell his friends. He's gonna it's have the clip. day of his life, dude. You know what I'm saying? We just changed his whole day. The kind of guy who will take the time to let Twitch chat into his life. A baby? Are you pregnant? Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Tim's a gift and a great guy, and I'm, I'm just so glad for him. And That's what's right. happened to him is just amazing. And he's good at his trade to celebrate his first child's gender reveal live. We are going to have, ready? Three, two, one. No! He's got nothing to hide. I will be talking about my faith in this. If that is going to offend you or you no longer want to continue to watch this video, um, I will not push it on you. You are feel free to exit out now. Tomorrow when you wake up, you can count on him being there. A large gamer whispering into a microphone about his stuffed penguin and thousands watching to support yeah, Tim the Tapman.
Yes! 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 Oh my god, that was fucking god tier! <laughs>